Fox start at 4072. I've crash landed on a strange planet. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Hello? Oh, yeah. ah! Whoa! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Howdy. My name is Woody, and this is Andy's room. I am Buzz Lightyear. Oh. I come in peace. You are a toy! You are a sad, strange little man. Buzz Lightyear, the coolest toy ever. Buzz Lightyear! Not a flying toy. T-O-Y, toy. This Look under your boot. You have to understand how lucky you are. Over in that house is a kid who thinks you are the greatest. It's because you're a toy. You are his toy. It's about being there for your kid. Life's only worth living if you're being loved by a kid. This is what it's all about. To make a child happy. For infinity and beyond. Um, yeah, I can see what you're doing, Molly. What are you dressed as? I was just wearing clothes. <laughs> Not really anything. Get in the character. I did bring my water gun though, because I knew there was like water involved. But I do no, feel you need to get in the character. Well, it was a wee bit of a flood. There's not really a lot of water, so I feel like you need a wee bit more. <laughs> All right, I won't soak you. Um, cool. I'll oh, wear these then. Yeah. So back for day two or week two of our summer Sunday club. So do you remember what we did last week? Last week we looked at David and Goliath and we focused on how God has big plans for us even if we or others don't expect it. That's pretty cool. And uh, this week, as you know, we're doing Noah. But um, we're also going to think about a different Toy Story character each week. And this week's Toy Story character is Buzz Lightyear. Do you remember what Buzz Lightyear always said? To infinity and beyond. That's exactly right. I love it. So actually, today we're thinking about this idea of to infinity and beyond. And Noah was one of those people who lived for God to infinity and beyond. There was no stopping him. Anything that God wanted from Noah. I mean, Noah was just there and did it because he trusted God so much. So I reckon, first of all, maybe we'll listen to the story. Yes, yeah, sounds Noah. good to me. Okay, so we'll hear the story of Noah and then we'll have a wee think about it. All of the people on the earth had become very evil. They did awful things to each other. And this made God's heart very sad. He wished that he had never created them. But God did find one good man. His name was Noah. He did what was right and he lived his life for God. God told Noah that he was going to send a flood and so Noah should build an ark. He told Noah exactly how he should build it. Noah followed God's instructions and built the ark. The people thought he was crazy, building a big boat in the middle of dry land. But Noah trusted God and knew that he had a plan. As the rain began, Noah and his family entered the ark. God had told Noah to bring two of every sort of animal into the ark with them, along with lots of food for everyone to eat. And so this is what Noah did. The rain fell for 40 days and 40 nights. Soon the whole world was covered in water. Eventually the water began to disappear. And Noah, his family and all the animals were able to come out of the ark onto dry land. They said thank you to God for saving them from the flood. God put a rainbow in the sky and said that this was a sign of his promise to never flood the earth again. Wasn't that story just amazing? Like, these people must have thought Noah was crazy. He's just building a boat with no rain or anything. I know it did look a wee bit nuts, but I mean, he just trusted God. Like he always stepped out in faith and he did what God wanted him to do. Like he stepped out in faith and he built this enormous boat, no matter what. Um, and that was pretty cool. I mean, Noah just had great faith. And I want to think today in Toy Story, do you remember we were thinking about Forky? 
and the fact that Forky had to trust what Bonnie had to say about him. And we also have to trust what God has to say about us. And God has lots to say about us in the Bible, things that are really true. And it's for us to choose to believe them. Can you think of anything that God says that's true about us? Well, he tells us about how he created us. He does, yeah, how, we created, how he created us, that's really, really important. He also says that we were made for a special purpose, that each one of you is gifted so differently that you're made for a special purpose. Yeah, he loves every single one of us. He does, he loves you all no matter what. It doesn't matter what age you are, it doesn't matter what your abilities are, it doesn't matter about whether you're good or whether you're bad, he just loves you because he made you. And that, come, that brings us to the next thing then, that you're God's masterpiece, that he created you and that's why he loves you. Doesn't You don't need to do anything to earn this love. You're so important to him. They are, like every one of us is so important to God, like that's really, really important. And you know what, it also tells us that if we make a mistake that God forgives us, no matter what we've done, we can come to him and we can be part of his family as long as we, you know, we just have to ask that Jesus will be part of our life. That's all it, that's all it takes. Um, so maybe it would be good for us to have a wee think about how you can trust God. Maybe think about today's story, about what Noah did, and think about the massive leap of faith that he took. And is there a way in your life that you could trust God more? Why don't we have a little time of reflection and we'll just have a little think about that. So today we're going to make one of these, a rainbow cloud bookmark. And here it is, our little rainbow cloud bookmark um, that we can put into any book at all. And you can make it as a family together or you can make it for one for each person as well. But what do we need to get ready to be prepared to make this? So here are the resources that you need. You need some coloured paper, any coloured paper at all. You can even use wrapping paper um, and cut it into strips. I cut it into strips, but actually I need to make my strips a little bit thinner so that they would fit in to my little rainbow cloud. A pair of scissors to be able to cut with, a black Sharpie marker or felt tip pen, um, some glue and a hole puncher to punch the little holes for my little rainbow cloud uh, cheeks so as you punch them you'll get lovely little circles and um, here they are here that you can put on to your little rainbow cloud for their little cheeks on there okay and of course you need some paper just white paper any size at all doesn't matter what size it is we'll be able to use it so get yourself some white paper for yourself Okay, if you would go and gather those resources for yourself and then we'll come back together to make it. Okay, I'm going to pause the video right now so that you can run off and get all your things that you need. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. So we've got our piece of paper in front of us. Now, it's a rectangle at the minute, but we're wanting it to be a square. So how to make it a square is take the top corner point and bring it right over and make sure it's exactly along the edge of the paper at the bottom, like that. And fold it, make a nice strong crease along there. 
So it's folded like that and it's right along like that. Then get your pair of scissors and cut up the edge here. And once you cut the edge away, then you should have a shape like that, okay? There's your triangle shape, but when we open it, it looks like a square, okay? So now take your triangle shape like this and have the top corner away from you. And you've got two little corners either side here. The top is down, place it down in front of you and take the first corner and bring it right up to the top of the corner here and fold and crease it strongly there. So it's folded like that. Then take your second corner over here and do the same. Bring it to the top corner here and firmly crease it down like that. So you've got a shape like that and you've got those corner bits like that, okay? Now, what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna take the top corner here and we are going to take the top corner and we're going to bring it right down to the middle point and fold it nice and strongly. See, to the very middle point there, and we folded it nice and strongly and there we've made this shape here. Now, what we'd like to do is we wanna take one of those triangles and keep one this side of the shape, turn over your shape and take the other triangle and bring it down to the point at the corner of the edge there and fold it over nice and strongly, make a good crease. So you've got exactly the same on both sides with those little triangle flaps on there. Now, taking your piece of paper, put the smaller edge away from you with the longer edge closer to you, take a corner and you're going to crease it into the middle of the page. And you're going to make a nice crease like that, okay, into the middle half of this page. And you're going to do exactly the same with the other half. It's going to meet, they're going to meet each other in the middle and you're going to fold it nice and strongly. So it's going to meet like that in the middle, like that. So you've got two pieces like that, okay? Now, when you open it, you will find you have a little opening here, okay? So this little opening here, what you're going to do is you are going to fold this corner inside the opening, like that. So it goes inside, and then the second corner, you're going to fold inside the opening it's like making a little hat or a little boat and you've got them all inside there yeah, they're inside now turn over your page and you'll find that other little triangle there that's just start sitting there so you're going to neatly just fold that inside your little corners all tucked in inside to make a lovely shape just like that okay so you've got it all folded in. Now, using the side that doesn't have the two wee bits here, but this side here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw the outline of a cloud shape. But in order to do the little cloud shape correctly, you need to be very careful. Get a black pen or marker or Sharpie, and we want you to draw carefully around, making the shape of the cloud, but keeping near the edge of your shape so that you're not cutting out the whole shape. You're cutting along just these wee bits here, these little corner bits. You're gonna cut those out so that your shape stays in its form. So we're gonna just outline, make it nice and thick so you can see the outline of the cloud. So I'm using my Sharpie and I'm making the outline of my cloud. I'm making sure it goes to the very edge of the paper. So I'm not gonna cut that bit out. I'm just gonna cut the bits in between out so that I have my shape of my cloud. Okay, make it nice and cloud-like. Um, mine's a great big cloud. It's got lots of big fluffy bits to it. And I've brought it to the edge. And again, at the very bottom where it opens, make sure you're very careful of how you go along the edge. Now you're only cutting out those tiny little bits there so that you've got the edge of your cloud. So take your scissors and cut out really, really carefully around the edge. So again, I've opened it up so you can see. 
I've just cut off that tiny little bit and there's a little triangle bit there just to cut off just there so I'm just cutting off little tiny little bits so that I've got my edge of my cloud sitting there and the same with the sides I'm just cutting off the tiny little bits at the corners okay the little pointy bits of white that I don't have okay and so you continue to do that and you'll have a lovely cloud outline just like this one here so there's my little cloud outline now to make my little cloud happy we want to put some eyes on my little cloud so I'm just using my little marker so I've got my little eyes on and he's going to be a happy cloud so he's going to have a nice big smile on there okay and he's all ready now open them up and inside here you want to glue all along there okay so take your glue and you want to glue along the bottom edge of your cloud so that you can stick in your little rainbow pieces at the bottom okay and then you'll take your little strips of colored paper so mine is the rainbow or you could do any kind of rainbow cloud that you want but if we think of the rainbow we think of Richard of York gave battle in vain so we want the red Richard of orange of York yellow gave battle battle gave green gave battle in indigo vein violet so those are my colors that i want to put into my little rainbow cloud there now my little rainbow cloud it's too long so i'll cut off the little bits at the bottom and i'll sort out the shape at the bottom there so that it looks like this now my little uh cheeks on here are just the little bits of cut out uh circles from the hole punch that i used earlier the hole punch on some card and um, makes these little little round circles that you can make little little cheeks on your little rainbow cloud bookmark and there you have it your little rainbow cloud bookmark it can fit onto any book at all so here's my book i'm going to open it and i'm going to fit on my little rainbow cloud bookmark and there we are our rainbow cloud bookmark have fun making and creating see you again bye okay so before we pray we've got one more thing that we're going to do and it's time for worship so it's a new song you may not know it some of you might have done it in school though so we just want to invite you to get up on your feet and we're going to have some actions and we have katie and eloise who are going to lead us in our worship today so let's all get on our feet and we'll worship god together for him.
away our sin So we could get to know our God again The Lord is good, the Lord is strong And we will live our lives for Him Okay, so we've come to the end of this week. Um, before we pray, can I just encourage you? We have our holiday club, which is going to be on the 3rd to the 7th of August. Uh, this year we're going to do it online, so we'd love for you to sign up. If you go to the church website, you can sign up to that. And I mean, signing up just allows you to join in with some of the Zoom stuff that we're going to do each day. It runs for five days. Um, it'll be in the morning from 10 o'clock to 12, and it'll just be a lot of fun. There's really good fun videos. I mean, it's all about these wacky scientists, and they do loads of amazing little experiments. So I think you'll really enjoy it. So please do sign up for the Holiday Club. Right, I'm going to pray for us, and then we're going to finish. Father God, I just want to thank you so much for the story of Noah. I thank you for his life and the fact that he stepped out in faith, that he trusted you, even though it looked around him that he had no reason to do what he was doing, other than the fact that you told him to. And Lord, even though the people around him ridiculed him, the people around him didn't really understand why he was doing what he did. Father, he still stepped out in faith and he did it anyway. I just pray that you help us to trust you. Help us to believe the things that you have to say about us, not to worry about what other people might say that might be negative towards us, but Lord, to trust you to infinity and beyond, to trust you with everything that we have, with all that we do. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that was great. So it was. back again next week? Yep. Okay, boys and girls, we are back again next week. And who knows how Megan will be dressed. I was really hoping that she'd fall into the paddling pool, but she seems to have done really well. I don't know, we might throw her in later and put it as a blooper, but we'll see. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> but we'll see you next week. It was really good seeing you all. Bye. Take care. Bye.